Okay, today we have a mystery object and I don't have any idea what it is. So let's open it and see what is inside. Okay, let's see what is here. Emission line transmission hydrogen beta oxygen three oxygen three and hydrogen alpha. It looks like a filter. Oh, this is one of the filters about. Oh, I was waiting for it for a long time. Let's just open it and see what is inside. Oh, this is the Lomicon uh, UHC ultra high contrast filter. And they say that they proudly display the uh, band pass of their telescope um, uh, filters. So, 48, uh, 486 nanometer hydrogen beta, 95.4%. Oxygen 3, 93.2. Oxygen 3 at a different uh, wavelength, 91.5. And hydrogen alpha, 0, 0. Point one. I don't know what that means, but that must mean really low. So let me open this and just look at the filter itself. Mm. Oozes quality. Let me look through it. Okay, I've turned off the flash so you can actually see how it looks through it. Let's look to the light. Okay, yes. I'm going to try it on the Orion Nebula. Before that, I just splash a little bit, uh, I will blow a little bit air blower on this just to make sure there is nothing with the dust and other things. Okay, I've uh, cleaned the filter and I've attached it to this uh, Teleview 40mm plus hole and I'm putting it in this uh, Bushnell Voyager. Uh, four and a half inch telescope target is m42 and i look through it and i report back okay what i've noticed is that i've used several eyepieces including this star guider teleview uh, this uh, um, tova orthoscopic 25 millimeter what i notice is that this filter lomicon deems the stars of the trapezium very much and enhances the nebula. The stars doesn't come to sharp focus with this. I mean the stars of the M42. But the nebula is really increased, so is it what we wanted probably? Yes, yeah, probably what we wanted. If you compare it with this bother UHCS uh, booster. This is similar to a Celestron filter, so I'm just going to do it now just to see. Okay, I'm now looking to that and I can say this. The bother actually shows more nebula and more stars. I'm a little bit disappointed by this Lumicon. I bought it for 60 pounds second hand, but... It's a bit strange. Why it doesn't show the desired effect, or is it what we have to expect? I'm not sure. Okay, I have now changed to the Lomicon, and I think now I can see actually that Lomicon is better. 
I think there was a thin layer of cloud somewhere. It was stopping me from seeing. Okay, I've now gone crazy. I've added two filters together. <laughs> the bother and the Lomicon are added together. And I can see the extent of the visible nebula has really increased. And the stars are not dimmed as much. So the bother is more effective. Okay, which one I prefer? I feel the bother is a better one. That's a strange. Oh, anyway, the bother uh, filter is better. Okay, I'm using the the Lomicon with the Teleview Plus O and the bother with this uh, Wixen. And both of them are 40 millimeter. I don't know what's with the Lomicon. Lomicon that doesn't show the stars of the trapezium. The other stars are clear. Trapezium stars are not clear. Uh, Bother shows all the stars clearly. And I'm not sure. I can see more nebula in this one than the Lomicon or in this one. At the moment, uh, the jury is out. I don't think that they show any more nebula or less. I'm now comparing the view with the Alnitak and the Sigma Orionis. Again, I see the clear stars with the bother filter and uh, not very clear or dimmer actually. The sky background is dimmer, everything is dimmer. Slightly probably more nebula in this, nebulosity, flame nebula around it. I'm not sure, but I'm just feeling. Okay, I just bite the bullet and uh, brought two, both of the uh, eyepieces that I have of the Teleview 40mm. This one I, I put a mm, bother ultra high contrast and this one is a Lomicon ultra high contrast and I will use them on the telescope so it can be as much as similar as possible so I'm going first with the bother one I have reached now a conclusion uh, bother actually shows more stars uh, but less nebula and the Lomicon shows less stars and more nebula so thumbs up for the Lomicon it shows more extent of the nebula I can compare it now with these two uh, puzzle and I can say that the Lomicon actually is better for viewing the nebula. It shows a bigger extent, almost double the size of the nebula, uh, nebulosity in M42 that I can see with the Lomicon than with the bother. This is a bother ultra high contrast uh, S uh, L booster.